answering recruiting's biggest question, how do I get exposure? This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 112. And a good day to you, or maybe a good evening, depending on when you're listening to this episode. I'm John Fugler, your Athletic Scholarship Coach. I'm an author, a speaker, and as I mentioned, been coaching athletes and parents, entire families in the whole recruiting process, been doing it for over 15 years, and also a podcaster and an author of the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. Here we are. We're talking about the biggest recruiting question in the world. I mean, this keeps coming up, and I thought I'd address it square in the face, and not only in this episode, but also next week, and I got something special to talk to you about to uh, talk to you about as well. Um, this issue of getting exposure, biggest challenge by far that athletes face. I mean, how do I get myself in front of college coaches? Parents, how can you get your son or daughter in front of college coaches? It's like this mystery, and we're going to talk about it, not only in this episode, but also next week. I'll be spending two episodes on it. And then, as I mentioned, I'll be doing something special, really cool, uh, starting in two weeks. It ties in with, with this issue here. In two weeks, we'll be hitting that, um, and I'll send you an email or just if you're subscribed to this podcast, you'll find out about it through the podcast as well. But in two weeks, uh, get ready for, for something a little bit different. Um, it's really cool, uh, and it involves uh, getting exposure and getting in front of college coaches which is the the biggest issue. Well, I'm happy to let you know, too, that on November 1st, after many, many months of developing this, I'm pretty excited about it, the new Recruit Me system will be launched. The brand new Recruit Me athletic scholarship system will become available. For the last 15 plus years, we've been helping Families navigate this recruiting road all the way to an athletic scholarship. Uh, it's It's been exciting. We've been building resource upon resource. But this next step with the new Recruit Me system is a leap forward. It'll be multimedia. You'll have video. You'll have audio. You'll have digital. All geared toward taking you step by step through the process. Uh, and it, it's it's basically in 3D. Recruit me in 3D, and that'll be ready to go on November 1st. Be ready. I'll tell you more about that as it gets closer, but uh, pretty excited about it. Uh, right now, for free, you can get the Recruiting Power Pack. If you, haven't, if you haven't downloaded it yet, please go ahead and do that. It's right on the homepage of the Recruit Me site, recruit-me.com. Go get that. Three resources in there that will really give you some traction in the whole recruiting process, including a sample player profile, a sample resume. You gotta have that. Talk about getting exposure with college coaches. You gotta have that that resume, that's one of the elements. And I've got a sample for you that you can use to model your very own. It's all in the Recruiting Power Pack, and it's free at recruitme.com. I encourage you also, if you're just getting started, In this recruiting process, get my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. It's available on Amazon. It's available on Amazon. Go get it. It's in audio form as well. It's in paper book. It's in Kindle, however you want it. Great for those who are just getting started or those who just need to get back on track. And that's available as well. I'll have links in my show notes to those two indeed at recruitme.com and uh, slash podcast Or if you're subscribing, then uh, you can also uh, get those links in the show notes at your favorite place where you download the Recruit Me uh, Athletic Scholarship podcast. Let's get into it. How to get exposure before college coaches. How do you do that? Uh, And I'm going to lay the foundation this week, go deeper into it next week, and then we're going to even go deeper into it in that special thing I have for you in a couple weeks. But there are three things I want you to to get embedded in your mind in this episode that will help you get exposure. It'll lay the foundation. And the first thing is know your strengths. Know your strengths. Parents, your son or daughter, what are his or her strengths? Your son or daughter may need 
you to tell them that. They may not really have thought about that. God-given abilities that set them apart. Athlete, those God-given abilities that set you apart, what makes you unique? What makes you talented in the way that you are? The reason I, I ask you to, to know your strengths is this is what you want college coaches to know about. This is what you want them to see. This is what you want to raise your hand and say, here I am, and not just here I am, but boom, boom, boom. These are my strengths. Here's how I can help your program. Uh, you know, you could say, well, uh, I'm a good all-around athlete. Coaches want something more specific. They're not just looking for good all-around athletes. They're looking for athletes to fill a need that they have on their roster. And they're looking, depending on what year you're, what year you're in, they're looking two or three years down the road, one year down the road, and they wanna, they're thinking about who is it out there that can fill a position on my roster? Uh, basketball, for, for example. Uh, maybe they need a center. Uh, maybe they need a, a great shooting guard. Uh, they're thinking about who they need to fill a specific position. They're not just looking for best all-around athletes. What you need to do is take an inventory. What are those, say, three things that set you apart that are your strengths, your talents and abilities that you want to that you want to let coaches know and you want to get them see, to see. So parents, work with your son or daughter. Come up with those three. You've got to know your strengths. When, and you want to put those out there. We're going to get to that in a minute. But that's what you want to put out there to coaches. Boom, boom, boom. Bullet point. I remember my uh, one of my sons, uh, we, we boasted about how fast he threw the baseball as a pitcher. And that was the headline. How fast he threw such and such miles an hour. And that was a strength that he had. That, that attracted the coach's attention. You got to have more than one strength. But really get that down, be specific, and let coaches know. Your strengths might change over time, but come up with three right now. Why are you a talented athlete? What sets you apart? from other athletes. So that's the first thing. Know your strengths. What sets you apart? Secondly, is to, to promote your strengths. I've referred to this already. This is what you want to tell college coaches. You, you know, you want to get exposure? Well, you got to be specific and you got to go after it. Not only have strengths, but man, you've got to tell the world. Not in a boastful way, but yeah, in a, in a promotional way. You want to Market yourself. We'll talk about that also in in a few minutes. But just just hang in there. Listen to me. Promote your strengths. Let coaches know that you are A, B, C. This is who you are as far as your athletic talent. And you've got to promote the co to the coaches what those strengths are. There, it's just not going to happen passively. There's things you can do. You can write to coaches, email them, uh, go to their camps. Uh, you put your player profile together. There are a number of things that you can do, and we'll go through that in future episodes. But get it in your mind that once you know your strengths, and, and this is the most important thing really, is you have to promote your strengths. You need to fix in their minds and get their attention as to why you are different You've already determined that in knowing your strengths, but you have to communicate it, okay? If you don't do that, you won't get exposure. You just won't. You're going to get about 10% of what you will get that you would get if you do let coaches know and promote yourself, okay? So that's the second thing. The third thing is develop your strengths, develop your strengths. So you have these strengths, you have these skills, these God-given abilities. Well, you're going to be better a year from now than you are now. You're going to be better two years from now than you are. Uh, some of that's going to be natural, but if you have strengths, man, develop those strengths further. 
be more of a standout with those. There's a tendency to say, well, I've got these, these three strengths, but I've got a couple weaknesses. I got to take care of those weaknesses. I've got to shore up those weaknesses. And yes, there's some, there's some sense to that. But if you spend time focusing on your weaknesses, you're going to become more of an average athlete rather than taking the time and really focusing on your strengths to become a better hitter, a better sprinter, a better ball carrier, a better shooter. If you, if you develop the strengths you already have to be even more of a standout before coaches, my, oh my, you are going to get recruited. That is, if you are promoting yourself to coaches. You have strengths, but this is a continuum. You're going to get better. And when you get to college, you want to get in a program that is going to also make you better so that your strengths become even stronger and you get some advanced coaching and advanced help to become a better athlete. I'm not saying ignore your weaknesses, but there's a tendency to really focus on weaknesses and we become more of an average athlete. So you've got promote, know your strengths, promote your strengths, and develop your strengths. The fourth, this is a bonus. I said three, but here's a bonus. The bonus is promote your strengths. <laughs> yeah, I had to close with that too. <laughs> it ties all this together. You, you could know your strengths, you could develop your strengths, but you don't promote your strengths. It, this exposure is just not going to happen. Uh, you know, and, and we're hesitant, aren't we, parents? to promote our, our son or daughter and athletes, you might be kind of an introvert and you're not going to promote yourself. You just, you just don't feel right about that. You feel this is a marketing thing. It's a business thing, but that's just the way it is these days. You're entering a very competitive arena when it comes to recruiting and scholarships. And all I got to say is get over it. You've got to promote. You've got to do that to get exposure. You've got to be out there. Don't be obnoxious but focus on making sure that you promote yourself, parents, you promote your son or daughter. In two weeks, um, I'll be spending uh, an entire show on how to promote yourself. Uh, in fact, and this is uh, something really cool that I was referred to at the beginning of the show, I'm gonna spend at least five straight days. We're gonna have bonus episodes of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. And I'll be going into some of the specifics that I referred to already, but I, I'm going to really dig deep on how to promote yourself so you get that exposure. Um, and I'm going to share some things I've never shared before. Uh, I mean, I got a book out, I've got the Recruit Me system, and you, there's a lot of information out there that I have shared, but I'll be pulling on pulling from some things that I've I've never shared before. And I'll share them uh, in a couple of weeks and then through that five day series of the athletic scholarship podcast. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. I want to hear from you. Was this helpful? Uh, let me know. Email me at john at recruitme.com. That's J O N at recruitme.com. And something else you could do to help me is to share this podcast with others. Uh, you've got friends, uh, send them the link to this podcast. This is becoming more and more popular, the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm thankful for all the new people who have tuned in, but man, I just want to get the word out to as many people as possible. And I need your help doing that. If this has been beneficial for you, don't keep it a secret. All you got to do is just quickly send out a text or an email with the link and let people know that the Athletic Scholarship Podcast is on the air. I find a lot of people not only listen to one episode, but they'll go back and listen to previous episodes. Maybe you've done that. Uh, and I try to keep them at 15 minutes <laughs> to, to uh, uh, make sure it doesn't take your entire day. And we're coming up on the 15 minute mark. I want to make it brief, to the point, digestible. And uh, that's, that's why we say 15 minutes that will change your scholarship future. There you have it. How to get exposure. Uh, Know your strengths, promote your strengths, develop your strengths, promote your strengths, and we'll get into more of that. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you next week, and in a couple of weeks, we'll uh, also start this special series. And on November 1st, the new athletic scholarship system is born. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Go Dodgers! <laughs>